All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And in this video, I want to talk about how to solve an initial value problem. So the problem on the screen, find the particular solution to the equation dy dx equals cosine x plus x, whose graph passes through the point pi over 2 comma 0. So I'm going to show you how to solve this. And then I'm going to show you how to confirm your answer graphically using the Desmos graphing calculator. So the first thing we want to notice is that you have a differential equation here. In other words, the equation that's given is in terms of a derivative. So when it's asking for the particular solution, remember that means you need to find the particular equation that's the solution to this that also passes through the given point. So the first thing we want to do is find the antiderivative of cosine x plus x. So y equals sine x plus one half x squared plus c. Now this is called the general solution because you have the plus c in your equation. And then the next thing to do is to use your initial value, pi over two comma zero. Often the x value is given is gonna be zero, but in this case it's not, and that's okay. So what you do is you substitute your x value in, or whatever the independent variable is. So sine of pi over two plus one half pi over two squared plus c and the answer should come out to be your y value which is zero in this case so sine of pi over two is one plus pi over two squared is going to be pi squared over four times the one half is going to give you pi squared over eight plus c equals zero now i would advise you when you solve for c in the next step to not convert it to a decimal don't put one plus pi squared over eight into your calculator, just solve the equation for C and it's okay that you get negative one minus pi squared over eight. Now, a lot of students are tempted to stop there because they found a C value. Just keep in mind when it asks for the particular solution, you need to rewrite the equation with your particular value of C in your answer. So our equation is gonna be Y equals sine x plus one half x squared minus one minus pi squared over eight. Okay, and box my answer right there. So next thing I wanna do is show you how to check your answer graphically using Desmos. So clear that off the screen right there. And then I'm going to enter our equation as a function. So plus one half x squared minus one minus pi squared over eight. Now there's where our particular solution graph looks like, and we want to make sure it goes through the point pi over two comma zero. You can type in the point and it'll come up. Now, some things that could happen is that point could not be fine tuned enough in that when you zoom in, you'll see that the point doesn't actually lie on the graph. The best way to be sure is to plug pi over two into your equation. And since I used function notation up here, I can just do f of pi over two and it will give me the answer here. So let me get rid of this one. Then the other thing I can do is, you know, you can enter a coordinate x comma y like this. You can enter it in function notation. So the x value is pi over two. Get rid of that decimal there, comma. And then the y value is f of pi over two. And then you could see that that point lies right on the graph. And we confirmed up here that when I plug in pi over two, my y value is zero. Alrighty, so I hope that was helpful to you. If you want me to go over another example, uh, please put it in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a video about that. All right, guys, take care.